with four lads, two from Tipperary and two from Kilkenny, doing a run around Croke Park. This is the sort of thing that's attracting the crowd of over 50,000. Meanwhile, <laughs> Richie Power takes the free, which is the main business. And Richie raises the white flag again. That's his third point of the match. This is ridiculous. Uh, well, the man I'm blaming for, De Declan Ryan has to take action, take off Larry Corbett, because he hasn't made no attempt to play the game since the start of it. I don't know what he's playing at or what he's trying to do, but it's an absolute joke at this stage. To Tommy Walsh's credit, he's not responding to it. Although I know he's on a yellow card. Ball comes in. Chasing after this. JJ Delaney and company are back there. Sent down in front of the Hogan. Aidan Fogarty is underneath it. Equally as good under the high ball. He's working hard. Lays it back. Farris, JJ Delaney. It's a good ball inside. Brendan Cummins comes off his goal line. Gets away from Colin Funnel. And then steps into the space and drives it long. Dropping ball. Patrick Bonamar gets a touch. Taking the hit again. JJ Delaney. Playing well. Jackie Tyrrell actually. Tyrrell drives it long. Coming through the centre is Aidan Fogarty. He has the space. He's on the 20. Takes a shot. So, a cracking shot by the Emeralds man Aidan Fogarty and Brendan Cummins just got a touch but he and couldn't look, stop Fogarty's rocket Harry, that is classic goal a brilliant brilliant wing forward play Tommy Stevlin never moved from the right half back position and Aidan Fogarty you know, made a 40 yard run absolutely brilliant goal now can Tipperary respond for the second time to a Kilkenny goal first it was TJ Reid then Pat Burke now it's Aidan Fogarty Tipperary Character being tested. Ball goes out for a 65. But the difference in the attitude, Marty. That's what it's all about. Aidan Fogarty has scored one three from play. He's playing. And Lar Lar if you just watch it here, he just bursts through the centre there. Look at Thomas Stapleton, just left stranded out in the middle of the field. And that's that's called hard determination. And then to have uh, to beat a goalkeeper like Brendan Cummins from that is. Now, Brendan might be a little bit disappointed, got to hurl up, but you know, straight into the net and a great goal. And that's a brilliant attitude. And one three from play now from Aidan Fogarty. And that Last year's I learned John O'Keefe down that wing got a roast in as well and, and Thomas Stapleton's getting it hard today. Shane Burke is on for Tipperary and the man that's gone off is Brian O'Mara. So a change in the Tipperary full forward line. Pa Burke to take the free. And Mr. Consistency all the way through. He now has a personal tally of a goal and eight points. Brian Cody must be well pleased with the response of his team and the hammering that they received from Galway here in the Leinster Hurling final. They're showing the metal of true champions. Stepping away from the challenge, Aidan Fogarty. Porig Marr getting a hook in. Ball comes back out towards Colin Finlay. In comes Richie Parr. Confronting him is Shane McGrath. Porig Marr is there as well. Helmet is gone. The slitter is still there. And the referee says it's a free out. And again, tempers afraid. Richie Power wondering, what have I got to do here to get a free? He's saying the helmet was pulled off it. Let's just watch this again. Shane McGrath comes in the tackle here, grabs him, by the, grabs him by the helmet and pulls his helmet off. Him. That's actually a yellow card uh, as well. He literally pulled the helmet off him. Yeah, but I, I can't believe that Thomas Stapleton has been left on Aidan Foley. He's gone off there and maybe substituted there now. Uh, I think maybe Paddy Stapleton might have come in while this has been going on. Change in the Tipperary team, Paddy Stapleton in for Thomas Stapleton as the ball goes back down far as Brian Hogan. Centre back playing in a corner back or full back position there momentarily. Ball in the centre. First involved is uh, Porig Ma stepping forward to the challenge. About to be hooked, puts it into the space. Ball carried a little bit too much pace. David Herity deals with it more than adequately. Kieran Joyce goes for distance. Easy ball for fullback and captain Paul Kern lays it off for his Porig Ma. Patrick Bonamar goes up for it. Brian Hogan judges it to perfection. Ball swung over this side. Owen Larkin gets a touch. Coming forward is Aidan Fogarty. Paul Kern is there, leading by example, winning the dirty ball and trying to start a temporary move. Brendan Ma. Laying it inside. Noel McGrath 
Nice ball inside first, John O'Brien. Scored once already. This one looks as a little bit short, but it comes back off the post. Still a little bit of pressure for David Herity. This time he deals with it impressively, and he wins himself for free. As Patrick Bonomar just arrived a little bit late as O'Brien shot came back off the post. Yeah, we've seen a lot of activity around that Kilkenny goal. That's the second ball that came back off the post. David Herity much more alert there and fouled by Bonomar. But you'd have to say, Marty Kilkenny, no more than the first half. They seem to be dominating the game. They're all over. Yet there's only four points in it. And you know, you'd imagine if Tip can just settle down, get some sort of a formation on their forward line and concentrate on playing ball up there, that they're still not gone out of this game. Batted away by Michael Cahill. Killian Buckley is at the end of it, waiting for it. And he scores in this All-Ireland semi-final. The substitute has done well since introduced from Michael Rice. It's Kenny now 2.15, Tipperary 1.30. Great catch by John O'Brien. Just took his eye off it momentarily, ahead of JJ Delaney. Putting the hurley in there, it's Delaney onto the left-hand side. Nice touch by Paddy Stapleton. Farris Noel McGrath operating around the 40, dropping in a little bit short. Easy ball for David Herity, who wisely goes for distance. Remember Kilkenny playing with a strong wind in this second half. Paul Kern being chased by two Kilkenny players. Gets it out first, Conor Omani. Omani under pressure from Colin Fennelly. Curran is there, trying to get past TJ Reid. Flicks it forward first, Paddy Stapleton. Under pressure, three Kilkenny forwards converge, and it comes to the man who has the scoring touch of a goal and three points, Aidan Fogarty. And again, the referee's whistle is blown, and it is a free in for Kilkenny. Well, that was unbelievable tackling, Marty. TJ Reid, Owen Larkin, both very involved in. Again, Aidan Fogarty, who's been everywhere, back uh, onto the breaking ball again and fouled. And you know the intensity of the tackling from the very start from the Kilkenny forwards has been huge. The tip backs just can't get out with the ball, and as a result, they're playing very, very poor ball into their own forward line. And, you know, as I said earlier, Tip have no bat shape in their forward line, they've no full forward line in place in there, and they're poking ball in straight into the goalie. Henry Shefflin. Easy for a player with that quality. Six points between the teams. Kilkenny, by the way, have scored one goal and seven points to Tipperary's three points in this second half. Brian Hogan begins to dominate the middle channel at number six. Down towards Henry Shefflin. Owen Larkin putting the challenge in and winning the hard ball against Paul Corn. He leaves Corn for dead. in the game. His name is Brendan Cummins, but Owen Larkin scores for the first time in the All-Ireland semi-final, and surely he's booked the Cats for a place in the All-Ireland final against Galway. Well, absolutely. Marty, watch it again here, Owen Larkin. Has it quite enough last couple of games, but he's been sharp today. Just walked around Paul Curran there, and great finish into the corner of the net. And as you say, look at the, what a fantastic second half to play from Kilkenny. We were still talking about where Lara was, and Henry Shefflin had brought them level, and since then, their attitude, their commitment, their desire has never waned, and some brilliant finishing since, and their attitude is absolutely fantastic. And I just don't know what, you know, I'd be surprised by Tipperary's attitude. Lara Corbett shouldn't be left on the field, in my uh, opinion, with the way he went on since the start of the game, and I think that, you know, the likes of Owen Kelly and Seamus Callan still sitting on the sideline at this stage of the game, uh, and the game is over now, really, as a contest. And Paul Curran, it must be said, seemed to pick up an injury as on Larkin took a, a step into a different gear and bypassed him as such. Well, they're worn out to tip backs, but the tackling of the Kenny forwards is savage since the start of the game, and they're just not able for the intensity of it. Now, what if Tipperary got in their tank and their artillery? Because at the moment, it's all Kid Kenny, showing why they have been one of the best teams we've seen in the game of hurling for many years. TJ Reid lays it off as Richie Parr. Positions mean absolutely nothing. You may be named a corner forward, you could end up wing back. Because that's the position of Richie Power and TJ Reid at times have been. This time, it's a free out for Tipperary as Paul Curran wins a free, hard earned, it must be said, against Henry Shefflin and company. And there is a yellow card for Henry Shefflin. 
who seemed to stand on uh, Paul Curran's hurley, I think, there, as Curran was trying to get up off the ground. So it's a yellow card for Henry Sheffield. Free taken by Brendan Cummins. Remember, this is a game that was level on eight occasions. But look at the uh, top of your screen. Now nine points between the teams. Shane Burke trying to win one back. But unfortunately for him, it's to the left and wide. So it remains 25 points to 16 or 316 to 113. Puck out by David Herritage. Dropping down towards TJ Reid. Loose ball. Picked up on this occasion by Aiden Fogarty. Back to Reid. Who have tormented the temporary defence. Kennelly lays it off to Larkin. Going for goal number two. And Paul Curran takes him down. And that is unquestionably first a yellow card and uh, a penalty as well. Absolutely. Um, great ball again. TJ Reid, who's really had a great game today, up this game. Great diagonal ball and Colin Fenley, you know, he's so strong. Great, great one possession ball bounced up, caught it first time and laid off a lovely little hand pass to Owen Larkin, bursting through and just dragged down by Paul Corn. And okay, it's only a 21, just outside the maybe a, a large parallelogram. I think it's just a 21 yard free and Henry will tap it over. 20 metre free for Henry Shetland and he drives it well beyond hit 16 as well. Oh, he didn't tap it over, but. <laughs> Tapped it over the hill. They have a lovely little hand pass there with Colin Finley, and you know Paul, Paul Corn had no choice really. Loose ball again. Aidan Fogarty chases after it. Paul Murphy is there too. He's the right corner back and uh, <laughs> playing now almost in midfield. Fine catch by Paul Corn. He continues to give it everything. Well, you mentioned the tip, the Kilkenny backs, Marty, they've never deviated from the plan. From the start of the game, Paul Murphy has picked up Noel McGrath, Tommy has picked up Pat Burke, uh, Brian Hogan has picked up Bonner Maher, and uh, so on, so on. Jackie Hurley's been on Lara Corbett, and JJ Lane has been on John O'Brien, and they haven't changed since the start of the game. Pat Burke dropping this one in. But Lara Corbett was near it, but uh, didn't get a touch. Ball is wide. But Cyril Farrell made a point at half-time, Michael, about... He, he thought that possibly the fittest team would win the semi-final, and certainly Kilkenny have showed. Well, both teams are very fit. That's, yeah, uh, I don't think that's an issue. It's, but a lot of fitness comes from determination and from drive and heart, and uh, Kilkenny have shown more of that. Well, there's no question about that. They've given it everything. Ten minutes since uh, Tipperary scored in this All Ireland semi-final, and as Kilkenny have really stepped up a gear. Porig Ma, Tommy Walsh. This is the old flamboyant Tommy Walsh and the cheer from the Kilkenny supporter says welcome back to four. Owen Larkin, great catch on the turn. What about the finish? It's wide. 56 minutes played and Kilkenny very much in control now. Ball comes down towards Paddy Stapleton. Quick puck out from Brendan Cummins. And that's going to be a free for Tipperary. Yeah, and Kieran Joyce, you know, another player had a super, has had a very, very solid, a big call to leave off Richard Isle, who's been very good all year for them, but I think Brian Cody just went for more physical strength and power, and it's really worked out for them. Ball breaks, JJ Delaney, rackings up as usual. Little touch by Aidan Fogarty, tries to get away from Paddy Stapleton. Stapleton without a hole. Owen Larkin with a hole, picks it up nicely, and there's more trouble for Tipperary. TJ Reid coming in, lovely jink inside, a rasper! It. Hammered by Galway in the Leinster final. This is a mark of a truly magnificent team to respond to the challenge. Yeah, TJ Reid stepping inside and an absolute so, rocket. Uh, Michael Cahill lunged in and uh, I think Paul Corner, you can see a hurl coming through there. Paul Corner through the hurl as well. Lucky to be still on the field just after getting the yellow card. But Marty, I think you're right. I think once again, you know. You know, we, I didn't write off the Kenny team, but I sort of thought on the balance of power that Tip maybe should be improving coming to this match. Thought that the momentum was with them and, you know, questioned them again and losing Richie Hogan, Eddie Brennan gone, Michael Kavner retired, lads like that. And Michael Rice gone off injured today. And what a performance.